Hi, let's take our first look at using Lazarus. Let's go to File. Can't see the File menu. Sorry about my frame. File New. And I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a demo of these. I mean, a walkthrough. I don't know what any of these modules mean or inherited item or package or demon. And I only know about half of these, about half of these. So the first one we're going to do is a simple program. Double click it. And there it is. Now you can tinker in Pascal right here between begin and end. And the simplest thing to do is write line. And then what would you do? Like, hello world. And then you go to the run menu. Now let me see if I can arrange this. Yeah. Screw it. Okay, now you can probably see the menu. Run menu. And run without debugging. Okay, error. Look at this. Because I used double quotes. And for strings, Pascal expects single quotes. Save. Oh, I'm going to save it. Into program 2. And then, now let's run it. Run, run without debugging. See, it's it's control squiggly R. I'm just going to do that. Now, I know there's an error here and warnings, but I'm going to talk about those later. This actually worked. So we can go into this folder and run it. And there's probably a way to do that from here. But I don't know what it is. And it's probably very easy. But if I go to a terminal, sorry, if I interrupt it, Terminal. Where'd it go? Oh. Uh -huh. All right. Code. Lazarus. Projects and program two. Oh, it looks like I saved it right here. That was clumsy, but no big deal. Then it should work if I just type program two right now. It did it. And just to confirm that that's what it did, hello, awesome world, save, run, go back up here, and there we go. And it's really fast. You saw how fast that was to compile. All right, there's your first hello world. Let's do another one, totally different kind. This time, we're not going to pick a simple program. We're going to pick an application. Okay. Now we've got, I'm going to save first. Projects, new folder, app, and we'll save it right here. Okay, wait, yeah. Now this is really cool. There's all these things you can put into this form and make a program out of it. In fact, let's not do anything. Let's run this right now. Run, run without debugging. Now this does, oh. I was about to say this takes a while, but boy, that was fast. So there's nothing in it, but there's a form right there. Now let's add a button. Click that and then drag the button like that. Okay, there it is. Now there's lots of stuff you can do with this button. It's already created the class for the button. The class definition. But what if you want to do something... Well, I mean, let's let's just run it. I'm pressing Control Squiggly R. Runs it very fast, and when I click it, nothing happens. But what if you want to do something when you click it? Well, this is a really cool feature, I think. Watch down here when I double click this. Double clicked it. It added this, and from here we can type caption equals single quotes. Hello. Awesome world. Single quote, semicolon, save, run. Okay. The legal expression. Let's see what I did wrong. I got all this out of the form tutorial. I know what it is instantly. I forgot. And so you can learn from this too. 
uh, any Pascal user will instantly recognize what I did. An assignment is colon equals. I forgot about that. Let's see if that's all I did wrong. Run. Oh, yep. Now this text should change. Yeah, it did. Let's run it again. Yeah, it worked. So that's two Hello Worlds. And I'm going to show you one more thing. Build. Look at all these errors and warnings and stuff, right? There's a lot of things. And all of these down here are blank object file was built for a newer Mac OS version than being linked. I'm not going to claim that I completely understand this. I don't. But I do believe I can get rid of all of these. And then we'll look at some of these up here. So let's try it. I'm going to close this. I'm actually going to close all. And it still says I'm in this project. Close project. Save. What? No. Okay. Well, since I didn't have any project open, it quit. But that's okay. Hey, it's me from the future interrupting. And just going to tell you that all the stuff that I'm about to do in TextMate, you can probably do it from somewhere in these option menus. But I don't know where it is. So TextMate works, so I do it that way. Let's go back to this folder here. Let's go to F2. Crank that size up. And let's open TextMate in this folder. All right. When you open TextMate in a folder, it gives you the contents over here. And let's go to this LPI file. Now there is some magic. Uh, last time I had a magic incantation, and this is similar. This is uh, the text from a magic scroll. When you replace... I'm going to put this in here. You replace these two lines, these two lines, with all these lines. So it's down here. Compiler options and linking. In this case, on line 60, just paste all those in there. Hit save. And that's it. Now I think that should do it. So Lazarus, and remember Lazarus, Lazarus. Open project. Ah, app two. Here we go. Oh yeah. And then somewhere here I can open the files. Here we go. This is where we were before. And if we run now, check it out. All those all those warnings are gone. But check it out. There are a few things left. And I don't know what all these are, but let's see if we can solve a few of them. One of them is this. If you click on it, it goes right here. It takes you right to it. Let me just clear my throat. And it's just saying we didn't use this. So yeah, you can get rid of it. But actually, that's not enough. But let's run it. Now it's saying there's a problem. There's an error, which is worse. Because this doesn't work. Yeah, this doesn't match this. So you have to remove this as well. Save, run. Okay, that went away. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm back. Let's get back to where we were. Save, run. Okay, this is where we were. Now, I think possibly that I'll be able to sort of fix this error and uh, this one in the next video, but I thought I could fix it in this video and I can't, I don't know how. And, uh, however, this one, I've been getting it in basically every project I run and it has not been a problem at all. I, I think that's it for this video. See you in the next one.